What's up everyone? This is Terry Candlestick. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Final Fantasy 14. Final Fantasy Online on my channel. Hooray. Uh, later I'll be doing stuff with Ben Muir. But right now I wanted to get my sorcerer. Arakara, I wanted to get her up to level 30 in the uh, uh, Scholar. Oh, wait. Sorry, Scholar. Arcanist. Uh, Arcanist class, and then get Scholar and Sage unlocked. That can start being those. Main scenario quest later today. So, I decided why not just record it and throw it up online. So here we go. And I'll be trying to do the voice acting course. So hopefully it's not trash. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Kara Kara. In case such doubts fill your mind, you should know that I am ever willing to lend an ear if you find your thoughts troubled. At the very least, I would have you know this because it seems that Kailarla, Kailaya does not. The Foreseer has been missing since this morning. There have been other times when she has disappeared without a word, but we have always been able to find her. Alas, that is not the case this day. Were the Guildmaster here, he could deduce her whereabouts with nary a moment's concentration. I find myself beginning to wonder if those who devote themselves over much to Arcanium are more prone to bouts of wonderlust. But while I might wish to ponder further such oddities of character, we must need to organize a search party. Would you be so kind as to make inquiries in Hawker's Alley? It is not uncommon for Kalaya's wanderings to take a path through the markets. Absolutely. So you got the little jack lanterns up. It's nice. Apparently there's also I never really paid attention to all those things that they did. But uh it is pretty cool to see all that. You seek a you seek a Makote agent agent of Malvan's gate? Why, yes, I have seen her. Spoke with her, in fact. She was, however, apprehended by the Yellow Jackets. The assessor was drilling me for details about a... Kirkin smuggling ring based in Elport. But then the soldiers arrived and took her away. If you wish to know her fate, then I suggest you speak with... Yanad of Coral Tower. So much... Like I was saying, I, I've never really paid much attention to these or any of the Halloween ones, cool. Halloween theme uh, events in these games. <laughs> nice. I'll show. Seeing all these jack o' lanterns reminds me, I have recently just carved my first jack o' lantern. Very, very recently. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to do it, do it with my friends, and it's a great little time. If you haven't done it before, I do highly recommend it. I totally lost. Maybe. Just do this. Maybe I'll do it. Do it the smart way.
Yes, I recently can't get this way, can I? carved or yes, carved my first jack o' lantern. It was a lot of fun. The base, the uh, actually got it actually came with a, a whole kit that that you determine uh, what type of shape you wanted to carve out. It gives you many many types of cutting devices, little saws, some thinner than others, some longer, and. Uh, Gave you a whole lot of templates to use. You kind of just taped against your your pumpkin, and then just kind of I used a screw and just kind of poked out designs, just connected the dots, and it was very quick, very quick to get that done. Uh, let's get her done first. Marcia Kayla. Yes, we brought her in for questioning regarding the reappearance of the pirate Dosmaga. A member of the Arcanist Guild, are you? Then I see no reason to conceal the nature of our discourse. Perhaps you are already aware of this, but the Forsayer was once held captive by that rabid sea dog. You pirates sink to such depths of depravity as Dosmaga. It had been six years now since he was exiled from Limsa Lominsa for engaging in the worst kind of black market trading. And now the villain has returned. He is, however, both cunning and cautious and continues to evade our truths. Thus, we hope to borrow the knowledge of Forsia Kalaya, whose experiences have given her an intimate familiarity with the way of the that with the way the scoundrel operates. At least that was our intent. After weathering a barrage of questions from the assessor, we found ourselves instead providing the details of our search. Should you wish to speak with Forsia Kelaya, I, I imagine she has already returned safely to your guild. Okay, thank you. But, uh. Ethernet! Bonk. Actually, I could have just gone to my guild, huh? Is that running? Derp! Derp a derp! Ah! Ah! Fuck, oh, Zally is a little closer. Now, hold on a second before I continue my story. I haven't got this? What? I'm so bad about that. <laughs> I'm almost as bad about these. Well, actually, I'm worse about these than I am about this. Can you see me? Because these are up all the time. I have no reason to not have uh, done this. I am sh <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Back already? You were led to believe she had returned? I am afraid not. Hmm. So the Yellow Jackets told you something of her history with Dos Malga, did they? Perhaps it was... Perhaps it would be best if I told you the entire tale. The Smaga's ban banishment was the result of a surprise inspe inspection that revealed his involvement in an underground slave trade. The assessor was stepped aboard the The assessor that stepped aboard the pirate's merchant ship spoke of finding dozens of unwashed unfortunates crammed into its squalid hole. Among these prisoners was a young Makote. Thus for some black market auction block. Though the Kalaya was initially too terrified to even speak, the guildmaster brought her out of her fearful days with the gift of an initiate's grim war. Yes, the self same tome that she has carried her entire career. I Of course Did you not mention that Kalaya's 
Mimrora was thrown into the sea. There are rumors that a Kirkin merchant of ill report, repute has retrieved the black market goods of the crew of the Morning Star heaved into the ocean. Even now he gloats, gloats over his salt and crust catch in Elport. It is entirely possible that the Forsier's most prized possession was caught up in the Kirkin sal salvage net. I have no doubt now that Kalaya has reached the same conclusion. To Elport with you, Karakara. That is where you will find our wayward assessor. Ah. Oh, I, I heard that, uh, raising the voice box. Gives, gives men a, a lighter voice, and so that's what I try to do with, uh, women or women, uh, characters I try to voice act. I don't know if it's actually accurate, but, uh, go ahead and let me know. But, uh, yeah, for carving pumpkins, if you haven't done it before, the kit comes with a number of saws and a, uh, and a bunch of uh, templates you tape to your pumpkin and then draw out uh, a line or puncture a bunch of holes in, you just carve it out. It also lets you carve out the top and then has a little, kind of a little scoop, it's ready to scoop for you to uh, dig out all the insides. And then you get yourself a nice little pumpkin. Oh, you have yourself a nice little jack-o'-lantern, rather. She's on. She's also on the other side. Bird! I need you. So it was a good experience. I did it my first time with uh, a bunch of friends, and they helped me out, even though it really was so simple. I didn't need a lot of help on it. But it was a good experience. I do recommend it to everyone who's not done it. And my design was based off of uh, Miss Muffet from Undertale. So that was very, very fun. You just look at her face too, she's just the poor little thing. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Combat pattern Combat pattern two fifty six should serve to cover all expected contingencies. You never know when you'll have to nullify a thermoturge or two. My retrieval strategy is complete. Karakara, it is good you good of you to come. I was unable to calculate for certain if you would piece together my movements in time. Very little is certain. When you when you so Very little is certain when so many variables are involved. But there is good news. The prisoner here was kind enough to confirm that the traitor who salvaged the Morning Star's jettison cargo did indeed retrieve a tomb, a tome matching the description of my lost Grim War. Lomintsin law and the policies of Mivan's Gate would support the confiscation of goods connected to an official inspection, but alas, my personal belongings do not fall under that dis definition. Thus, I intend to launch an unofficial offensive against this black marketeer and his cronies. The peddler has already departed for Candle Keep Quay. It is time I, it is time I gathered to me such allies as I possess, and I count you as one of them, Karakara. Despite the nature of this endeavor, Miss Thebrigen Hume has offered me her cooperation. If you would, pray join her at. Oshun's embrace, that is where we shall ambush this disreputable kicker. And did do. Boy. Yes.
this way. Bird, I need you. Good, 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 good. Oh, jack off. So, I have done this uh, line of quest on a gala, and I know what to expect. Uh, for the most part, I've got all down nearly as well as uh, in here. He really has it. Super Jim. Boom. Super Jim. Hello, Super Jim. Oh, this is when I'm doing the, uh, the prize. I didn't do it with, uh, Delia. So, do let me know if uh, that actually helps. If or not. I have to try to figure something else out if it's not. Anyway, what's up? Greetings, Karakara. Kara. Your arrival completes our small company. You're equipped for battle, I trust? You need not wait, Kilaya's arrival. Once the Kirkern appears on the bridge, we spring our ambush. The strategy for trapping our target relies on the two allies we have concealed on the other side of the ravine. The pincer maneuver was, naturally, the foreseer's idea. As for our target himself, the Kirkern is known as a careful and cautious fellow. He travels with a small retinue so as to avoid attracting attention, but do not be fooled. His bodyguards follow at a distance and will likely join the fray after hostilities ensue. Do not, however, expect any assistance from the Yellow Jackets. They cannot be seen aiding us in what amounts to a personal matter. They are willing to turn a blind eye for Kilahia's sake. In any case, the Forseer's tactics account for our limited numbers and individual strengths. Victory is all but assured. Now let us take up our positions and wait for the Kirkern to arrive. You got it. And clickety click. Let me just make sure I got everything. Ooh, can I eat? Can I eat something? Can I eat something? Uh, Agala actually has, uh, Culinarian as one of his classes, so maybe it would be a good thing to plant her. But then I'd probably just have videos of me just cooking. That would be great content! Right. That spell speed is actually really good, I like that. Boink! Eat, girl, eat! Delicious. Alright, let's go. Haha! <laughs> Do it! Level 24! She's currently level 32! Look at these dudes. Should have done this one, right?
Give him war. Stab it in the back. Doesn't have a discerning enemy. It's got a spine, doesn't it? <laughs> well executed, everyone. I'm not doing uh, the trick for Eli. Or Eli, yeah. Well executed, everyone. Were you able to re retrieve my grimoire? Kara Kara, pray hand over the tome. It's ruined. My wonderful grimoire is ruined. The probability of re repairing this degree of damage is... Zero. Even the most brilliant strategy can undo such ravages of seawater. Everyone's so sad. Oh. I have never felt so defeated. I believe it is time I returned home. Leave her be. But how can? But how can I? He is right, Estorta. You must allow Kelaya time to process the loss. And you have other matters to which you must attend. Come, Kara Kara. It is time to re time we return to the guild as well. And it's like, oh, poor kid, dude. Gaftan! I'm gonna use my new trick. Pretty much everyone's first trick. Look, I'm here. No running. Hooray! The regime. Not quite the victory we imagined, wasn't it? The moment Kalea beheld her soaked and tattered grimoire, you could see the light of hope die in her eyes. There is, however, something we can do. I will call upon your aid soon, but in the meantime, you would be well served to deepen your knowledge of Ar Arcanium. Alright, which one of these should I use? Oh, none of these are actually good. Rick? Right. Uh, ooh. Yeah. 
one I'm currently. Oh, dang. Actually, not nearly as good. What about this? right here. Nuts! What about this? It's actually two, isn't it? Yeah, but that makes sense. But now, just jump right into it. 25. Not better stuff. <laughs> what? Okay, so this is better now. Okay. Have you come to ask about Kalaya's condition? The poor seer is unchanged. She walks as if all the joy in her life has been leached from her soul. I believe the only one who can help her now is the same person who broke Kalaya out of her shell the first time. Our absent guild master. And... Though I'm leery of the coincidence, the man himself has long, has at last long been spotted. Should you seek out his last known location, it is likely he will still be there. And even should you catch him, he should, you sh he may not deign to speak with you. Nevertheless, this may be our only chance. Pray travel to Memeroon's trading post in Upper Lanustia. And speak with anyone who might have seen the guildmaster. Oh, and one last thing. Though he prefers us not to use it for some unexplicable unexpl reason, our leader's name is Karin Dia. Thanks, boss. Off we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Teleport! Copy time! Ah! Built. Pinched nerve. The head curves. It's actually going to be so much harder on the her because uh, I don't have to find out what to do on the gala. I guess I kind of look you cheated with the gala because I can just fly up to where I need to be. This is going to be harder. I got to actually do it the legit right way. An earthbound bird. Mm, flap his wings. Bird. Surprise, surprise! Everything here wants to kill me! Here to interrogate. Evening, miss. I, I was the one that sent word to your guild about spotting your leader. It's a right rare sight to see Karind Tia roaming about. He asked, he, he asked me the way to Thalos. Could he be seeking to speak with a scholar who lives out there? 
I don't know, but just find out. Thanks, sir. Bird. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's down. Boink. Don't want to. Boink. Hello. Ping a tonga. Why, hello there. Why, yes, I did receive a visit from a gentleman identif identifying himself as the Arcanist Guildmaster. An odd fellow, but obviously possessed of a well rounded education. As it so happens, he bid me pass a message. He did bi he bid me pass on a message to anyone who came searching for him. Ahem. <laughs> Reunited, the three slips of parchment hold the problem to the solution. The guildmaster mentioned the three slips of parchment are concealed among the bones of Thalos. I suppose you are expected to search for them. Okay, everything's up. I can see everything's up. Ah! Get up the stairs, girl. One over yonder. Hello. Man. See where sleep here is. Nap time. And it's nap time.
kind of need what you are right beside her. Oh no! I've been disconnected! Disconnect number one! Watch this just go blip, blip, there it is. Goodbye. I think it's a bad one. One! Ah, ah. I'll be back when I'm back up. And now I'm back. I was going to point out something on the loading screen. Up here, look, it says excellent connection. Yay! It gets so frustrating. <laughs> you get kicked so often when you have an excellent connection. It's just like the internet is just like. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. There's that. Oh, he's still with nice people. Point. And I need to do this first. Point. Use up again. Aim. 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 Just deep. And deep. Point. It wasn't that hard. I was just being. Wah, 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 wah. We were just slips to Tonga Ah! What's that? Ah! Jump! Jump, cat! Jump! Tonga! Here you are. Speech splash! Take it up! Get in the water! Okay, never mind. Maybe not. Oh, no. no. Um, 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 I'm going a little bit. Own shitty performance. Oh, look at that. Maybe? No? No? Is this? How embarrassing. No? Yeah. Ah! I 
I think part of his strategy is to see if I can get out of the answer is no. number two I'll be back in a second and welcome back She's kind of like crossed her arms, like, I'm trying, I'm not smart as you. Ah! Go, go, go! It's over here. Jump on that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, no, no. Stuck right now. We do we go. Look for it out. All right! Yay! Got out. Finally. Bird. Out of here.
<laughs> all right, hit it. Go for it. Probably all screaming at your uh, bones or scream. Have you tracked down those three slips of parchment? Sure have. Only well, took me two disconnects. An embarrassing display of not knowing where the hell I am. Hmm, interesting. They do, they actually exist. To be perfectly honest, I thought you had been sent on a wild dodo chase. <laughs> Let's have a look at these, shall we? Hmm, well, well. In the ancient Allegan, no less. Fortunately for you, I have a passing familiarity with the script. Seek the box of bull balls, dance a jig for your wooden audience, blame the secret from the open top. A most cryptic set of instructions, I do say. Do you intend to follow them? This guildmaster of yours certainly enjoys his game. Yeah, look. All right. And slash juke. Okay. Bird. Let's go. and all that right there. You both have yourself a nice day. Jam shut. Box rattles and bumps about. But if something within seeks to be freed, it appears the lid has been loosened some. You're an asset. <laughs> what? Why the hell did you get that? What the fuck, man?
one thing about the targeting in this game that I really, really despise is this how it would just do everything else but you but what you can do. If there are answers you would seek, then go to the trading post. And to the trading post now go. Before the owner, be not me. With your two feet, provide a show. I can't, I can't understand why you have two enemies right in front of you that you could tap to and then the game immediately taps to something about probably 100 feet away from you in the game and has you attack. It's just fucking ridiculous. Obviously, they something that slipped through their rigorous testing was just ridiculous. I must dance for you. Hot coffee. Now that was most entertaining. I must have something to amuse me during these long jaunts back to civilization, you understand. Based on my evaluation of your abilities, however, I calculated that you would arrive at this point somewhat earlier. You barked at, dance, at the dancing, didn't you? I never expected you to be so shy. <laughs> Another variable to add to your list of characteristics. I keep extensive mental notes on all of the guild's members, you see. As an archivist, it was a simple matter to engineer events so that I might need you face to face. I might meet you face to face. After all, strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into a desired reality. And s and I do so enjoy seeing others dance in the palm of my hand at the world. Ah, you may have this. Think of it as a think of it as payment for your performance. Though you might consider passing the tome on to Kedahaya, that is the reason you sought me out, was it not? Before you give Kelaya the, the Gunmar, however, I must insist that you dance for her. I will know if you don't. <sighs> All this banal interaction has simply exhausted me. It is time I return to my studies. You, on the other hand, should travel forthwith to the anchor yard in Limsta Lominsa. Be well, Karakara. We shall meet again. I am 100% certain. It's too bad that none of the dances that we get in the game uh, can be done in place of just slash dance. I would really like to have been able to do like the bee's knees or something else for Kalaya, but uh, yeah. 
Unless you... All the game really allows for is really that. Silly ass dance. Which is kind of sad. What's she gonna do? Of Imagine how funny it would be to see this this Makote just walk up to you randomly and just la 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 start dancing for you. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> it would be incredibly amusing for someone else to know that they caused that to happen. I got it. I'm so happy. Now I'd like to continue on with my quest game. Thank you. So I think we'll be able to stack Were you always one for dancing? I don't recall any such pref... Uh, you have met with our guildmaster, haven't you? That would explain your odd behavior. He does so enjoy seeing people perform unexpected acts of... frivolity. But what could have spurred our reticent guildmaster to speak with you in person? Perhaps your your killer. He gave you this grimoire to give to me. Uncanny! It is identical to the tomb I received the first time I ever met our leader. You have my thanks, Karakara. The guildmaster is fond of games and mischief, and I understand the troublesome trials. He likely put you through before deeming you worthy of his attention. With this gift, however, his message to me is abundantly clear. I am to shape reality into one desire. And that means defeating Dos Maga. Gods, my mind is alive again with strategies! I must have time to think. Pray inform Mistress Thur Thurbidgeon to virgin of my return to duty. Okay. Splish, splash. Anyway. Uh. No. Actually, oh, it's a gal. Gal has. 
tons and tons and tons and tons of gill. But I, alas, do not. Hmm. Aha! Let's <laughs> see. The beer gym. Kayla has re recovered from her despondency. This is wonderful news, and we have you to thank for it. It is unfortunate, however, that both Kalaya and our guildmaster are possessed of such impenetrable personalities. But, at least in the case of the Forseer, we have an inkling as to the nature of the cage that imprisons her. I hope to return... I continue to hope that her partners... that with her... her partnership with you shall gradually pry those bars apart. Return to your training, Karakar, and prepare yourself for the demanding tactics Hilaya is sure to formulate in the days ahead. Mm, still not as good as what I have, right? That's what I have right now. Yeah, if... nope. uh, this is better. Uh, do that. Uh, right, damn it. Spectacles. I've been expecting you, Karakara. As ever, Hilaya's pre predictions prove accurate almost down to the moment, and her mind is especially sharp with such a dangerous confrontation in the off. The Yellow Jackets have contacted us with word of Gosmaga. It appears this merchant vessel is presently anchored off the coast of Bloodshore. Once the pirate's business there is concluded, rumor has it that he intends to embark on an extensive voyage to the east. It will be some time before he returns once more to Limps and Lamins. If we pass up this opportunity, Hilaya will lose her op will lose her chance to settle the score with Dosmaga. We risk the force here, stumbling once more into blackest melancholy. Simply getting close enough to Dosmaga will prove difficult. Elia has, however, already formulated a solution, and has set her grand strategy into motion. Your first task in this undertaking is to travel to Costa del Sol and deliver this set of directions to a fisherman by the name of Rin Rilz Rilzern. More instructions will be forthcoming. Alright. Don't have it. You dig it? So what's it? What's the place I have? I'm not attuned. 
Holy moly. Start tuning everything. <laughs> I think that literally is the purpose. <laughs> Wait, cause All I've got to do is remember to actually... dressed up, well not even, but someone dressed up as a World of Warcraft character and they had their, they had this nice hat and they glued to it like exclamation point, yellow exclamation point, it looked like they were a character with a quest or something. <laughs> that was their, that was their uh, costume for the year. 
<laughs> they were quest giver. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Sweet. Thanks, sir. I'm going to go to the I know these things. They're not friendly. I desperately need to expand my uh, Ethernet. That's small. It's very, very small. Look straight at stones. over here to avoid. Hands full with me fishing. Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, I bet you to expect you. Hey, to take one of my rings and deliver it to the cook. Open on oh, no. Like, sir. Big old quest to just deliver this to this person, deliver that to that person. Blona? Yes? And how might I help you? Master Gekker 
Ruchu is expecting his midday meal at any moment now. What's the herring? A fresh herring? Why, the master does enjoy a bite of broiled fish of an, af of an afternoon. This might well earn me a few extra coins for the sweet wages. Well, you have earned yourself one of my homemade eel pies. I should tell you, though, your arcanist colleague was quite insistent that you take the pie to Master Gekiruju rather than scoff it down yourself. And what brings you to my, can I use the term facetiously, humble abode, dear madam? Oh, you have such a heavenly aroma. Are you, perchance, carrying an eel pie about your person? How commendable that you should research the delicacies that tickle my fancy before... Daring to intrude upon my most ponderous of ponderings. Speaking of ponderous, but I was speaking of it at least. I have a hefty purse of guilt to persuade you to relinquish your claim on that pastry. One moment, if you will. I have been instructed by... Melvin's gate assessor to hand over this message to whomever delivers an ill pie to Master Gekaruji. Take the purse you received from Master Gekaruji and hand it to the dancer. Egg Gith as she prepares to return home. Hmm. Anyways, I'll go. Bird. And whoop. Fish. Okay. Sorry, bird. <laughs> I think I did it last time. I didn't learn my last because I have to go up. Bird. Put that on the gallon. And I was like, oh, it's up. I shouldn't have jumped off. Build gift. Yes? If you're looking for a dancer, then I would first see your coin. I have three children to feed and no time to waste on idle chat. Oh my, that is quite a purse. My precious darlings will eat like kings this week. Or you could not spend it and let them keep feeding like beggars and you just have money. Whatever. And such a simple job as I as well. I was told to expect you, you see. In return for the coin, I am to give you these. The leather satchel is from your Makote friend, and the Pareo is from me. That last item you are delivered to Drogo, the how warehouse form. Dear bird All the doing her hair, all the two. Things are mine. Boy. Who's there? Drogo. I ain't got time for the likes of you. If you don't get me work squared, if I don't get me work squared away soon, the master, the master, I have me head on a pipe. Hmm? You got something for me? You say? Hey, 
Hey now, ain't this Edward Gifts Pareo? That McCordy last said something, someone would be bringing me a gift that I couldn't refuse and stick me with a pitch for she weren't telling me the God's own truth. Er, yeah, it's supposed to, to have this bottle of wine. Take it to the flying shark and pour a cup for sailors that are drinking there. Nedry told, told me to tell you any, any road. I watched my back if I was you, though. Lass, them sailors, the meanest bunch of cutthroats I ever did see. Bird. You want me to taste your wine, eh? Well, I ain't one to pass off the free roll. Lemon Lane's teats! Now that's a bloody fine drop. If we ship this stuff to the east, we'll be selling bottles by the crate. You're coming with us to the Morning Star. The captain will want a word with you. Alright. There's a good lass, and for ye. Miss Dancer, you're, you're stick close to old Herskers. It gets cold on them long voyages. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a prettier... But... Ooh, maybe. Here's Skipper. Bye, Skipper. Bye, y'all. Don't go off and drown stuff now. And bird. You're ready, then. We'll be off as soon as the boat's load. I had him roll his R's like that so much. Maybe it was like a pirate thing. I decided to go overboard on it, but eh, yes. Hey, fine grog. Fine grog and a fine one. The captain to be pleased with this hole. Pray do not stare so. This is the most ex expedient method of gaining access to the ship. I will take that statue from you. You may have it back after I take the items I need. Err! Oh, what mischief are you two? I was merely borrowing some clothes. You wouldn't wish me to catch a chill from this brisk ocean air, would you? You'll be dancing yourself warm once you get... Once we get you on board. Once you get you on the ship. ship floating above the water. <laughs> Hot coffee!
That hat that my character has is so stupid. <laughs> it looks like a Jester hat or something. He bears her slip off the ratty room before ye meet the captain. Of course, of course. Here it is, she shows how smart and tough she is. Boom! Right on your ass! I'll be happy to show him the performance. I'll be happy to show him the performance that awaits. The bitch admirals. Wait. The bitch admirals. Laptop. Come back for that lesson, yeah. It is I. It is I who shall be teaching this day. My lecture will focus on the manip manipulation of reality through applied strategy. Enough of this damn yap. By the time I'm done with you, you'll remember who you must be. Our numbers matter not. It is strategy that will win this day. Prepare yourself, Dosmaga. You will cast off the shackles you closed on my soul. Yeah, think it. Think you're a fancy magic. 
chicks up nice for me. They got nothing coming. Those muggers now face defeat. You have beat us, Dominarell. Obvious. Next comes his attempt to escape into the sea. You think you're pulling me string, dear? I'll dance your little tune. Why, falling for your bloody tracks? It is at this moment he knows his yellow jackets I had you summon in my explicit instructions to Raul Zir. She's like, what? I didn't read no note. <laughs> I love the line one of these uh, yellow jackets has for. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. Surrounded by the police. You were a fool to return, this manga. I hear you're fond of shackles, so we brought a set especially for you. I love that one. <laughs> ah. Ah. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you, Karakara. This strategy would not have succeeded without your flawless execution, which suggests that my tactics yet require some work. One must allow for some small deviation in performance. I believe, however, that I now understand where my calculations went awry. It is not enough to, to wish to shape reality. Man will one must also have a complete understanding of the reality one wishes to obtain. It is, it is time I sought out our guildmaster. Into the water. Wait, no splash? What's going on here? Most interesting. What is this? Pray convey to Mistress Thirbergim my fondest wishes and my appreciation for all that she has done for me. The true test of my strategies now begin. Is 
Yo mama. Mm -hmm. All right, nigga disconnected. Yay! I'm just gonna bear. These are dots. It's obviously Limsa Lamensa, but it's a certainty is not. Ah! Ethernet. Kana. Let's go! Welcome back, Kara Kara. There is much I would ask ask you, but first, may I have the statue you retrieved during your assignment? Of course. May I have the leather satchel you received during your assignment? The owner needs her costume back, you see. I'll make sure everything is returned safe and sound. Now, let us speak of Kilaya. I am glad to know that she has finally freed herself to pursue her heart's desire. And you are to thank for awakening the Forsayer to her self-imposed... Fetters. The brilliance of Kilaya's strategy served to bind her to her own feelings, and it paid me to see her suffer so. Your example may encourage Kalaya to improve her combat abilities, although surely, well, such will surely come in time. After all, she intends to study under the Guildmaster's dis direct instructions. I uh, imagine those two obsessive arcanists and the complexity of the tactics they would develop. It may be very... W it may very well be that your actions in bringing them together will prove the catalyst that sparks a new era of invention in the art of Arcanium. You too should look to the improvement of your discipline. If you are to keep pace with all that is certain to follow, to that end I offer you a new technique, one I pray allows you to more readily drive back your foes on the battlefield. Rune 2 and Rune Mastery. Rune Mastery. Yes. I get these numbers. 31! That's good! I think. What I have right now? 24? 31! That's good! Let's do it. Ta-da! Alright. Let's get up with Bubergeam one more time. A new task. Ooh. Alright, so I'm going to end this little episode here. This very big little episode. And on the next one, we will jump right into unlocking these uh, Scholar and Sage. See you soon.